Hi everybody, we're going to take a look at Practice Perfect's new and revised patient self-booking function. Basically what this function allows your patients to do is both look at existing appointments they've already been to or have coming up just to get a list of them, but also they can book new appointments online, new appointments to see any one of the therapists they're supposed to be seeing. So what happens basically is we give you a web link, we give you a, a basically a website that would be inserted into your website, into your corporate website. Website, there'll be a button on your website that says I want to book an appointment that will take your patient to our website and this is what the what they will see first of all they will see their name and their phone number they'll be asked to log in with a handful of identifying information their name sorry their email address their home phone number and their uh, birth date are all going to be used as identifying information which will basically take them right to their account within Practice Perfect. This is how we identify the patient. So they have a couple options. They can either view appointments, we're going to come back to that in a couple moments here, or they can book a new appointment. Patient's going to come in, again your information appears, they're going to book a new appointment. The first thing they can do is decide which incident, which provider they want to book a new appointment with. We have Daniel for low back pain, we have Herb for a massage. So that's number one, they can pick which one they want to see. Secondly, they can now pick the duration of the appointment. And duration is based on that provider's minimum appointment length. Maybe it's half an hour, maybe it's 15 minutes. So in this case, we want to see Herb for 60 minutes for a massage. Um, or again, we can see Daniel for 90 minutes. Now notice that 90 minutes does not have a drop down. That's because you can also set a fixed amount of time. If you know the patient has to come in for half an hour, that's it. You don't want them being able to change that. You can define that as well. We're going to take Herb and we're going to say that the patient wants to see Herb for 60 minutes on the 20th of April. So I'm picking the 20th of April. On the right hand side here, the patient is going to see a list of all the available start times for that provider that's available. If the provider is full, busy, seeing other patients, that list will be smaller. It's only going to show you the available start times. I'm going to say that um, the patient wants to see Herb, our massage therapist, at 10 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, April the 20th. We're going to hit OK. You've selected April the 20th at 10 a.m. with Herb. Is this correct? We're going to say yes. The patient then gets a notice that says your appointment request has been sent. You'll be notified once this appointment has been confirmed or, or not. Now something else the patients can do is they can view appointments. View appointments will allow them to see everything pending that has not yet been approved, everything that's already booked, um, you know, anything into the future, anything into the past, uh, again, for each one of their therapists as well. So they can look up old appointments, print this out if they need to as well. Now at the clinic end, what's going to happen is, first of all, you're going to get a reminder that's going to pop up, and that reminder is going to say that there are, are appointments um, from clients that are waiting to be reviewed. So that reminder is going to pop up right there. It is. That reminder will pop up on your screen virtually right away. There are appointment requests from clients waiting to be reviewed. This tells you that patients have now booked something online that you need to address. And we're going to say, don't tell me about this uh, again. Now on the schedule, before we do anything, you're going to notice that that appointment, that appointment that Steve had booked for, for Thursday at, at 10 o'clock in the morning, is already booked. Um, Steve is booked. Little icon there, that means this appointment is being held. That means that appointment is not yet kind of official. The spot's being held. It's still up to you to decide, you know, what you want to do with that particular appointment. So the appointment is blocked, which means that nobody else can book something into that time slot until you decide what to do. Now, under Actions, we have a function called web appointment listing. What this is going to do is list all of the appointments that are currently waiting for you to do something. These are all the appointments that are kind of sitting right now in limbo waiting for you to decide what to do. And we can do one of two things with them. We can either uh, delete them, which means it's going to send an email back to the patient saying, sorry, you couldn't be seen. Please contact the clinic to rebook. Or we can book it. Little book icon here will let us book it. Now keep in mind, if there were 20 of these, we can book them all at the same time. We're going to book it. Are you sure you want to book the selected appointment? We're going to say yes. What that does is two things. First of all, it sends an email to the patient right away saying your appointment has been confirmed. It also changes the appointment from being held to being pending like a regular appointment. So the full cycle happens here. The patients book the appointment. 
The clinic's been notified there's an appointment that's waiting to be approved. It is holding a spot on the schedule. The clinic then approves the appointment, and the email reminder is sent to the patient, basically saying your appointment's been approved, and that appointment now appears in the schedule. So that basically concludes this video, a bit of a sample as to how the remote booking function or patient self-booking function works. If you have any questions, if you want to take a further look, please do not hesitate to contact our support department. You can get them at 877-510-7473 or support at practiceperfectemr.com. Thank you for your time.